After we have seen what fast HTML can do, in this second video we are going to go into more details and we are going to configure an, uh, multiple pages applications that can be the starting point for our application. So I've already created one in here so you can see what it will look at the end. So in here you see that I have a website that has been created. We're going to see how we can easily deploy it also in the other videos. And in here you see that I have like a multi pages. I have a footer in here with the details. In here I have the home page, I have the about page, I have a contact page for this. And for instance, if we're going to type, I don't know, something in here, you will have a 404 page with this. So Basically, this is using components, so header it's a different component that it will be used by the other pages, filter it's the same, and in this way you are structuring your fast HTML project more nicely. Also, if you are wondering how fast this fast HTML is, if we're going to open the network in here and we're going to do a refresh, you see that it's very, very fast, and you see that it has only a couple of uh, kilobytes and it loads to f loads very very fast so yeah it's like amazing what you can uh, build with python in terms of uh, fastness and i've created an article in here and let's see the structure of uh, this i've prepared some of the details so in here you have the project and in the project you have the main and you'll have the components where you have the header and footer for this and in here you have the pages and uh, in here you have the uh, init that will be needed by the folder and then you have the home page, about page, contact page and so on and you can add whatever page you want uh, in here. So this will be the layout and I've prepared everything and I have also created a code for everything in here and we're going to just uh, discuss it. So in here I prepared everything and you see that I have created a blank project with this and you have the virtual environment created and activated and in here I don't have anything besides the virtual environment and I will create the component so I will move between the details in here so we can see exactly what is happening so I have a component let's create this component and I will create all the files in the beginning and in here I have the main dot PI, I have a folder with pages and in here I have another thing that it's called home.pi. I need to put this into the pages. Okay, pages is not a directory like this. Let me delete this. Okay, pages like this a directory. I'll put the home in here move I'll create an about contact dot pi let's see if this is enough again okay I have the init that I need to create let me go and create the init will be blank so this is the structure for everything and let me see the other things. So right now if we are going to go and we are going to copy the component and we are going to discuss it so you can understand it. So if you want to see the details on this, you can watch my previous video. It has more details on it and let's go into components and I'll put it in here. Let me save the code. And in here, another thing that I need to do is to install the fast HTML because I didn't install it. Pip install just to have everything. Okay, and while this is installing, so the first thing is to import the fast HTML. And the other thing in here, I will just start in the components to define a component page that it will be on default and in here you have the navigation items so in here you can add different navigation items so this is the header and then you have the details with uh, the link classes and everything and this is the 
link append and in here it's styled with tailwind css and in here you see that you have an li with a title the hash ref for this and the link classes so this is to just append the nav items all the nav items in here you see that they are defined in this area and then you have the header that it's returned it's a div and here you have a uh, logo with my website. It's called right now, it's styled like this. You can change the style as you like. And in here you have the navigation links that are added. It's with nav and ul and the nav links. In this area, again, you have some styling for this. So this is the header. And then you have the footer. In here in the footer, it's yeah quite easy. You have a current here. I didn't use a function. I've just set it like this. And you have then the footer that it's returned. And in here you have again a div in a div and you have a paragraph with a current year, my website. You have some styling and then you have the pages with privacy policy and the terms of use. Again, these are not created, it's just something that it's added to have something in there. And you have the page layout then that it's defined. And in here you have the HTML. So basically this is how the complete component it's created you have the head that it's created with then with an html and then here you have in the head the, the viewport that it's added you have the description and in here you have the tail in css added so basically like this with the components you can only need to add it in one place in the head so the other pages it will inherit it we will see then you have the body with the current page in here you have the main with the the div on the the footer so you see the header footer and in here we have the content that will go with the other pages so this is the component one again if you need more details you can find them in the article i've set okay next let's go and create the other pages Okay, you see that all the explanations are here. And in here I have the home. And let's go and copy the home code and let's check it. Okay, let's go into the home, paste it. And in here you see, for instance, again you have the import and you have the home that is defined. And in here there is all the code for the home page. Basically, this is a hero section with a div that it's just adding some text in there and two buttons again this is just to demonstrate to you something this is the future section it has a, like a h2 for the future it has a div then a h3 and a paragraph again you have the future two and so on this is just to have something on that page when we're gonna build our ai application tool we're gonna see more details so yeah uh, this is the page, you just need to import it and do the, the home definition. Okay, and like this we will have for the other pages, let's go and copy the code and this is for the about. Again, this has been created with all of these things. To have like easier. Okay, the about is the same. You import the first HTML common, you define the about, you define the div in here. So basically this will have all the content for this. You see that you have the H1 with about us. You have the class that is styling this for the about. And then you have the company description. So basically it's a, yeah, tailoring CSS styling. In, you have the team section. And yeah, again, you have another dim with member two. And yeah, you could define everything that you want in here. You just uh, add the, the details and you use the div inside the div, for instance, with the arm grid and flex, depends on what, uh, what you want. You see here, it uses the grid. Okay, let's move to the third page the contact one this is not like function contact page but it's having some details in there that uh, it simulates and we're going to check this i don't have want to have like a long video because the code it will be available on my website also i will put 
the GitHub repo after I am creating some more other things in there. Okay, let me put the contact. And in here, what is happening? Let me save this because this is not saved. This is saved right now. And right now, you see that again, we have a contact page that is defined. You have a div in here. And in here, you have the div with hash2 with a paragraph. And in here, you have the details about the company in the first div. These are the contact information that it's something generic. And in here, we have the contact form and see that we've added a form in here. And in the end, we should have like uh, in, with input text areas, you have a button and you have an action that you can configure it. Right now, it doesn't, does, doesn't do anything. And yeah, I mean, these are some standard things. And yeah, these are the pages that were created. And right now, let's go and I think we should check the main because the init doesn't have anything right now in it. Okay, let's copy the main and in here you will have the details for the other pages with the 404 thing and the other things. And in here you have the serve. So basically this will put everything together, the main. And in this way, the application will know what to do. Let me go and copy this. Let's go and open the main. I will open the main in here. Let me save this and go in here. And again, in here, you just import the fast HTML. And in here, you import the pages home and uh, import home from home page. This is the function that is defined in there. So in, if you want to add a new page, you just add it in here in the first part. In here, I'm importing the components part from page layout. Okay, and in here you define the app with fast HTML like we do. And in here we have a get, and this is to get the home page. So basically this will be the details that will be displayed in the root of the page. And in here you can change the title, and in here you see that you return the page content. And in here the content is actually the home page. So like this, the page content is linked. So you have the content in here that uh, it is defined and you have the home page and yeah that uh, it's tra it's received from here and then you move the to about so you have a get again with the link that will be about and in the about you have the same thing page layout that it's used and the about page in the content and like this you will need to do for any page that you are going to to add this is the contact and in here you have like something for the submit contact. Then this is a post that it's done. Right now it's let, it is in here. But I guess in the future, maybe it will be better just to go and uh, destructure also this. But right now I will let it like this. And this is like uh, when you submit the contact form, it will go and run this. It will just have like a thank you in there. And uh, yeah, it's added like this. It doesn't send an email, doesn't do anything because you need to add the SMTP details and other things. Maybe you need to add the details for the, <clears throat> um, the details also for the recapture to not receive spam. And you have another page layout in here with the thank you that it's created. So yeah, then you have the 404 section and in here you have the, for a full session that is created. And in here you have the path that you sent and this is checking to see if there is a 404 error. This is something that is defined for the error content. Again, it, it utilizes the page layout. So everything in here, it's using the page layout. And that's why you only need to set the scripts and other things only in one place in the header, in case you are, you, know, you have like uh, Java scripts, or you have an analytics that you are going to add. And yeah, this is like a logic, simple structure. And in here we have the serve that it's done. So this is the simple structure that it is followed. And right now you just need to do Python. Python and main, and it should start the application. So right now you see that the application is started. Let's open it in here to see how it's looking. So you see that it's looking the same that we've seen on my website. And here you have the logo, you have the navigation with about. If you go to about, you see in here that you have the 
page title and the two details from our team. We have the contact in here and in here if you type something, let's say I don't think it has validation. Okay, it has the email validation. You hit send message and you will be sent to submit contact page that it has the thank you. Okay. Contact about footer, it will be in here, you see. But it doesn't have anything. And again, if you're trying to search for a page, you will still have the directory in here and you have the 404 page. So yeah, in this way, you are creating a modular design with this. And I guess in the next uh, video, we're going to go and see more details of how you can add, for instance, open router in here with AI. You're going to use some free things like open router has to link an AI and build some, I don't know, tools for us to help us, for instance, create some headers, create some things that we're going to use to, I don't know, let's say, create more engaging titles for our articles or YouTube videos and uh, things like that. And I will uh, I will let a link into the description with the GitHub project for this and with the website that I have in case you want to check it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and this uh, second part, it helped you, helped you, I don't know, understand how you can use fast HTML to create multiple pages. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I will let the playlist at the end with the details.